Hey everybody, this is Matt Dickman of Techno Marketer, and this is another edition of Inside Out. Today I'm looking at Google's Orkut social network. Now, Orkut's been around for quite some time, but it is still in beta. Like most things at Google, things stay in beta indefinitely. I'm actually surprised that their search isn't still in beta. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll take a look through Orkut. If you look, if you saw the Yahoo Mash uh, video that I did yesterday, this is really closely aligned with that. Um, it's, it's less aligned, I think, with Facebook and MySpace, but I have heard that Google is planning on doing some type of overhaul to this. And I'll show you what I mean in that comparison with Mash here in a second. Um, if I if you look around, you know the site. It's it's fairly straightforward. Uh, you know the profile page has the photo. Uh, you can add scraps, which are basically notes. Uh, they can be rich notes, which use HTML. But like Mash, you have to actually know the HTML to do it. So it's not really newbie friendly. Uh, so people that are less tech savvy, that aren't comfortable with doing any type of coding, uh, they're not going to be able to get the most out of the system, which I think is something that Google is going to need to work on to, like I said to my Yahoo post, let people do cool stuff and then get out of their way. Uh, you can add photography into the site, but you have to up actually re-upload files, uh, even if you have them in Google's Picasa or Yahoo's Flickr, uh, which is a little bit confusing to me. Uh, just because, you know, I think people are starting to consolidate their networks. And if I can't bring in my content, which you're offering, from other networks, then you're not probably the social network for me. So that's something they definitely need to work on. You can also send messages to and from other users on the site. Um, so, you know, that that's really one strategy that all of these sites use is really as a almost a reason to get you to come back. Uh, a lot of the sites don't actually send you the content of the messages. They make you come back, re-log in. You know, it's another ad impression or whatever model that they're working under. Um, so if you come into the edit profile, you'll see that I have kind of a mixture of information. And, and Orchid is really, it's a little bit confused, I think. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean here. There's the social information that you have, you know, about me, passions, you know, political, religion, ethnicity, smoking preference, drinking, and two tabs over it has professional information. So what you, what do you do for a living? You know, and this type of thing is something that would definitely be indexed by search engines. So having those two pieces of information really closely aligned within one system could send some red flags to people. Um, you know, it's, it's usually you see professional information on a professional network, social information on a social network. There's a little bit of crossover there, uh, but I think people expect it on the, in those places. When it's put side by side, I think it's a little bit confusing. So I, I would see people almost coming in here and polarizing themselves one way or the other, uh, which it's a, it's a little bit confusing. Uh, you can judge it for yourself, but to me, it's, it's a little bit confusing to have those two pieces of information together. Uh, so, you know, like I said, there's, there's a scrapbook area where you can enter plain text or HTML. You know, you can embed videos, you can, uh, you know, change the font colors and that kind of thing, but you actually have to know the HTML. It's not actually a, a WYSIWYG editor where you can actually highlight something, hit bold, drag an image in, uh, like some of the other uh, social nets. The album, the photo album, like I said, you have to actually browse on your hard drive and grab a file and upload it. You can't import or sync automatically with an account on Flickr or Picasa or photo bucket or any of these other sites that everybody is putting their photos on, which is confusing to me. Uh, definitely something I think they, sh they should look at, allowing you to bring in as much information as you can to really make it portable. And they've actually said uh, Google is opening up most of, well, they say 100% of their APIs, which would actually let people build on top of these kind of systems. Uh, which which is pretty interesting. Um, Google has less, by the way, uh, of the kind of um, less of the applications like you're going to see in Facebook, where people build things that let you interact with other individuals. There's not really any of that in here. Um, but if they do open up their APIs, then theoretically you could use your widgets from iGoogle, bring them into this network, and build on top of that platform. Uh, it looks like that they're just starting to get into that on here. Videos, they do a pretty good job with Google and YouTube video. All you basically have to do is go to that system, copy the URL of the clip you want, paste it into the box, 
hit add video, it's gonna pull it right in. If your video is on another system like a Rever or a Blip, uh, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, if not impossible. Uh, the list idea, not really sure what this is. It seems like it just kind of hung on from a previous uh, previous build. Uh, it seems a little bit confused. Uh, I understand the bookmarks. The other things seem more of the dating teen kind of uh, emphasis, but we'll see. Messages, you know, you can send uh, send and and receive messages from other individuals that are on the site. Really, the calling card of any social network uh, and testimonials. This one I also thought was a little bit strange, but friends can write testimonials about you. Uh, if those are professional though, they sh would probably do you more good to have them in a professional network than in, in a social slash professional network like this. Pro-social, we'll call it that. It's a pro-social network. Um, so that's really what you can do with Orkut. I mean, it's pretty limited. There are communities that you can join. You know, I have communities in here which work just like they do in most of the other social nets where you can see the members that are involved, how many total, related communities. Um, you know, you can join in message boards through a forum, which is to me a little bit outdated for where we are with the whole Web 2.0 thing. Uh, I think there's other ways to look at this engagement, but I have the same exact concern with Facebook uh, and the way that they do their communities. So I think that, you know, this is something that we can work on in the future. So, you know, that's that's really the functionality of Orkut in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely shoot me an email, leave me a comment on the post, um, you know, and just play around with it. Like I said on my, my other posts, really, it's finding out where the customer is, finding out where their friends, where your family are, and consolidating to those networks. So, um, sorry about the phone call. <laughs> So, um, you know, find out where your friends are, find out where your customers are and focus there. You know, if, if the hype is going to Facebook, but none of your customers there, it's wasted money, it's wasted effort. Uh, so really take a hard look and um, make those decisions. So that's it for this time. If you have anything you'd like to see featured on Inside Out, you can drop me an email, mattdickman at gmail.com, or you can leave a comment. Thanks a lot, and I will talk to you soon.